doing as much as we can. The following is a production of Temple University Beasley School of Law. I'm standing behind this podium speaking to you today because I cheated. Well, I kind of cheated. Here's what happened. Um, as Dean Epps said, uh, Amanda and I were chosen by our classmates to be tonight's class speakers. Uh, the voting booths were open for three days. The morning of the second day, I posted this message to the Evening Division's Facebook page. Hey, everyone. If you haven't heard, I got engaged last night. Also, if you haven't heard, I'm running for class speaker. I promise to keep it short. Vote for me. Thanks. Now, everything I said was true, but I admit pulling that engagement card was a dirty, dirty trick. Uh, so I must begin by thanking my new fiance, Pam. Uh, If it weren't for her, of course, I wouldn't have the opportunity to speak to you here today, but I probably would have lost my mind over the past four years. All of us have our Pam. Uh, looking at the crowd today, the amount of people not wearing caps and gowns outnumber us four, maybe five to one. Um, and on behalf of the evening division, I want to say thank you. Thank you to those who acted as therapists, counseling us through those unexpected terrors we faced during the first year. Thank you to those who acted as editors, listening to our arguments and making sure they were written uh, as most persuasively as possible. And thank you to those who acted as babysitters, cooks, chauffeurs, anyone who took time out of their day in order for us to have more time in ours. Time was certainly an issue for the, you wanna clap for them too? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I heard one clap. Time was certainly an issue for the working evening student. Uh, we had to commute to work, uh, then we had to work, we had to commute to temple, sit through class, and then we had to go home. Uh, we got some relief from these 14-hour work days on the weekends when we only had to put six, seven, maybe eight hours in each day preparing for next week's classes. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like the hard part's behind us. We now look forward to bar prep, to beginning new jobs, and in some respects, to beginning new lives. But nothing that we have accomplished so far and nothing that we will accomplish in the future belongs to us alone. Our achievements are shared with those who love and support us every day. In that Facebook message, I promised to keep it short, and I'm going to keep with that promise. And so I say not only to the graduates, uh, but to Pam and to everyone's Pam, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> 